Hi, this is Zach Rose with Bulldog Rear. I'm out here with Brandon Redler. We are at 421 East 21st Street, Spokane, Washington. Today's date is August 24th, 2017, uh, just after noon, looking about 12:24. So I was called out here for a mainline backup. Uh, I cabled it originally pulled back a bunch of roots and just a few short four, door, four days after that was called back out again so I came out and stuck a camera in to find a bunch of sludge so we did the commercial hydro jetter um, so what we're looking at now is the main line from the house to the sewer that is the sewer right in front of us we are in looks like six inch clay tile. Looks kind of ovalized where it connects. Uh, pulling back towards the house for about 92 feet from the house to the sewer. So the bottom of the pipe is where the water is or where the bright light is. And that is a piece of the clay tile that looks like it's broken off from where we're not sure, just somewhere in the pipe. Uh, right here is a slight belly where it's kind of holding water. Um, eventually, this can cause backups, uh, sludge buildup, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's like a small separation there. Uh, that shouldn't affect anything. Not that minor of one. Continue to pull back. Uh, as you can see in the top center of the screen, uh, right there at the, set the seams of the two pipes, uh, there were some roots. That's probably where I pulled the roots back cabling the line, and then plus the jitter probably took some more out. Uh, here looks like a pretty bad separation. It looks a stair step down, which is good in this case. Uh, still some ruts, but this can cause uh, some big issues with the roots and just the gap in between the two sections of pipe. Pulling back, the top of the screen is where the bottom of the pipe is, kind of going to the right side now. So the condition of this clay tile pipe seems to be in pretty good shape. I don't see any cracks or fractures, very many broken chunks. Um, that is just all sludge. Um, it's a slight, slight belly. Um, dump enough water and that should get pushed out even more. About, about 60 five-ish feet. Uh, here's a separation on the bottom of the screen. That's the left side of the pipe. Uh, not going to cause any issues. Pulling back about 53 feet. Uh, right here we drop into a belly. Um, so basically the pipe is settled or the ground has shifted and is causing the pipe to backflow towards the house. That's why the water is standing. Um, this section is going to cause most of the problems, uh, assuming that nothing is going to get by and it's going to build up with sewage, toilet paper. Um, our camera is an inch and a half in diameter, so it kind of gives you a rough estimate. The bottom left corner right back there was about the top of the water, so there's at least an inch and a half of water, standing water in this section, if not more. Continue to pull back. We are about 
10 feet and they're still holding water in the belly. And right here we pull out of it. Some more sludge. Looks like we're dropping into possibly another belly. All right, here at 33 feet. So there's at least two sections of clay tile from 53 feet to 43 feet that are belly. Usually, clay tile pipe comes in sections three to five feet. So if we're guessing, maybe five feet, ten feet of belly or so. Continuing to pull back from 33 feet. Uh, still holding water here. Uh, this seems to be another belly. We've jetted this section five times with two different tips. We try to clean this up and get this to drain. It's not draining. Um, definitely wouldn't hurt for the homeowner to at least get this section of the pipe replaced. So it has proper grade, so it can all make its way out to the sewer. About 15 feet from the clean out in the house that we're working from. So that's a good 20 feet, good 20 foot belly. And we are, looks like we're pulling into cast iron right here. Right here is cast iron. Excuse me, excuse me, that was still clay tile, and now we're in cast iron uh, right outside the foundation wall in the driveway. Pulling back this normal cast iron, kind of looks gross. Three feet away from the clean out. And here is the clean out that we're working from in the laundry room, just above the floor. Once again, this is Bulldog Ritter, and this will conclude your video inspection.